Outsiders. Hello, I'm Tony from it, from the channel, from the Outsider channel. And today we're going back to basics. We're going old school. I miss making these kinds of videos, so I'm gonna do it. And I'm taking you along with me. We're going trail guide mode in a new series that I'm doing out of Southern California. One of my favorite places to ride, Aliso Woods, Laguna Beach, that whole area. Uh, there's a lot of newcomers to riding. There's a lot of newcomers to the channel. I'm gonna inform, I'm gonna hopefully entertain and show you some great trails, some great loops, how to ride them, where to go, where to park, where to start, where to turn, all the things are coming right at you in our first video from the series. We're doing Rocket, we're doing Lynx at Aliso Woods. This is what I call the classic loop, the classic laps, the classic loop laps of Aliso and two of the best trails in Southern California and how to ride them. We're coming at you right after this. Here we go. We're at Kennedy Park. A beautiful park, as you can see behind me. Great for dogs, great for small kids. There's a playground, great for getting hydrated on your laps. I'll show you how to do that in another lap. And uh, you know, all the things of suburbia are here for you guys. A nice, beautiful park and some trails right behind me. We're gonna get into it. I'm gonna get on my Capricorn 4. The YT is, uh, you know, getting ridden today and giving the e-bike a break. And with that, I'll see you on this exact road. I'll show you how the hell to do this. From Canyon View Park, as you can see, it's on my left-hand side here. We're just gonna head down the last bit of this hill and take a left on Madia for just a short period of time. And stupid me forgot his water bottle. So we're gonna pick that up really quick. Boom. And there we go. Cool thing about this ride is uh, you could travel really light. I'm not even carrying a bag right now or a hip pack because you just need the one water bottle if you're gonna do the road climb back up. Which I'll explain to you and show you when we get to that point. And this is gonna be your first right. Actually, you know, just it's a right. It's not your first one on bottle brush. Short climb up bottle brush, take a left on holy leaf. And you're gonna take this all the way to the top and enter the park via a driveway. And there's the gate, there's the driveway. We're gonna go up it to the top and then hang right into Westridge Trail. Here's Westridge, watch your bars. And we're in Aliso Woods. Man, I gotta say, I don't talk about it very much, but I do notice on the climbs, even though I'm not in the, the greatest of shape right now, cardio wise, it's a hell of a lot easier pulling myself up a hill minus the weight. Down about 35 pounds, we're going on 40. A little behind the scenes on the thumbnail right there. Perfect little spot. We get the link signage. We got this beautiful White Sea Capricorn 4 falling in love with this bike and uh, I've been taking turns you guys the e-bike the decoy and the Capra and it's weird <laughs> that's the short answer it's uh it's weird you know like you get used to the the e-bike pull and the climbing is not even a thing you have to think about and then you come back on a regular trail bike and uh, you got to think about it your your cardio isn't kind of where you want it to be sometimes and you get a little bit i don't know not frustrated with myself but definitely more of a motivation to be on the trail bike more which i'm doing today happily so i'm going to keep, keep going back and forth between the two and see how that goes i love this bike too because it's become a more of a trail bike for me now even though i use it at the bike parks the geometry on the new capra is much more straightforward on the seat post more upright for climbing so it's been great so you're going to stay on west ridge up this hill climb little landmark here stair steps is going to be on your right hand side which is an amazing trail we'll do in the next couple of weeks and uh you're going to go straight up this hill to the plateau up top have a bit of a sip of water have a snack whatever you want to do a little early in the ride for a snack but you do you we're gonna get a little bit of an appreciation station because it's beautiful up there. And I think we can see the ocean today. Nice little half circle landmark. I highly suggest taking it in the view right here because it's fantastic. And let's get one. All right, I always like to mentally say this is the kind of drop in point for Rocket Trail. Even though we're on Westridge, you'll see what I'm talking about. 
you're gonna go down this West Ridge zone right here. Bear left into this trail. It's not marked, so just know. It's the first left after the downhill. And this is gonna bring you right to the entrance of Rocket. Beautiful day today, you guys. 70 degrees here in Southern California on the coast of the Pacific Ocean. Couldn't ask for better, better riding weather. I always say it, winter is our riding season out here in California. Look forward to it all summer. I uh, haven't been much of a beach guy the last couple years, so the heat is just kind of exhausting after a while. You just get sick of it. Either gotta ride early, early or late, late or night rides. But right now it's a lunchtime ride, 12.30, and it's beautiful out here. So I forgot to tell you, we entered Rocket Trail. That fire road leads right into it. You can't miss it. It just bangs you right in the front of it. That's what she said. That's a good one. You're on fire. And you got a little bit of a single track climb that waves around in the beginning. It kind of warms you up. And it's nice. It's nice. And it slowly gets a little bit more chunky. And that's when you know it's giving you the uh, warning sign. It's about to drop your ass down into the trail. And it's, uh, it's on from here. Watch out for hikers. They like to climb up this trail. And they do have the right of way, so you can't get mad. Here's the longest rock garden you're ever going to ride in your life. It's all one piece of art. It easy down there. It's been a minute since I rode it. Got some ruts from the rains this past summer. Stay right. And there's the tricky section. Lift up, downshift, and punchy climb. And you're gonna keep going. And that's what I like to call the first half of Rocket. Second half, right here, that section kind of divides it up in a way. Tidy tight. I love this trail. People say they get sick of it. I could get that if you ride it every day, but there's so many trails here in SoCal, you can mix things up all the time and not feel like you're always riding the same stuff. Closest to berms you're gonna get in Laguna, <laughs> right here. You good? Yeah, all good. Okay. There's the last fast bit. rocket bang a left after it into the shady shades but you don't get much of it in socal we'll take it for now and uh, we got a new little and you got a new little 
and you got a little bit of a climb out. And this is Coyote Trail. You're gonna be on this for a minute until you cross the bridge and then start your real climb out of this place. But before you do, it's a nice little bench here. You can take a break, have a snack, have some water, eat a meatball, call on me, everybody, say, how are you doing? So how's the fam? How's everybody? Have a little conversation between the two of you. Not too long because you don't want to get out of the MTB zone. You gotta keep on the trail, you keep it, keep it going. That's about all I got for that bench. I'm sure you could do other things on that bench that uh, I haven't even thought of yet. But for now, we're on bikes today, people. Get your hand, get your head out of the gutter. Onward and up, upward, onward and straight ahead. There's the bridge I had mentioned earlier. Not too, not too much long ago I mentioned this bridge. 10 seconds. And then you take a left onto Wood Canyon. It's always weird when you see other riders in the wild when I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to you guys, but he just thinks I'm talking to myself, my special friend, my, my imaginary buddy over here. Let's call him Billy. Now Billy is a part of the channel. Say hello to Billy. After climbing up Wood Canyon a little bit, you're gonna come to this trail, which is Choya. And it's a, it's a way to get back up without doing the road. It's a technical climb, it's pretty steep. In my opinion, Choya sucks. <laughs> you can get mad at me if you want. I just don't like climbing it if I don't have to. Uh, I'd rather take the road. It's not that much further. You go through this beautiful park up here. And most importantly, you get to stop by the water fountain or your car and refuel. There's a water fountain that's filtered right inside the park over here. You're going to come all the way to the end, through the gate, and this way. Take a right. And we're going to be taking this path back up to the top, which will lead us back to Canyon View Park. And you've made one complete loop. The first loop, lap one, onward and upward. I like to take a right into this sidewalk. This is Canyon View Park. And this sidewalk leads you right around to the water fountain. And here we go. Nice little shaded spot, take a breather. And you've got some high quality H2O. And the sidewalk will lead you right out to the entrance of Canyon View Park, right where we started. This time we're gonna ride Lynx, another Aliso classic. So all you do is do the same exact route that you did before, no need for me to show you again. Bottle brush to Holy Leaf, then back up to Westridge. As we're climbing up Westridge, you're gonna notice Lynx is gonna be on your left-hand side here. That's the start of the trail, but we're gonna do a little extra credit, get a head start in, but go in with some speed, come down Vista Trail, which is up to the right-hand side here. Just a tiny bit more of a climb, it's worth it. After you round the bend on Westridge, you're gonna notice access to this trail on the right-hand side for the next climb. The next to climb, and you're just gonna go this punchy little climb to the little plateau up top, and that's gonna be the spot for your next descent. All right, Vista Trail to Lynx. Going down this trail, I just reminded myself, I've been really trying to practice more of keeping a moderate speed and staying in complete control rather than oh this is real ready hold on a sec people <laughs> okay that was more ready than i thought it would be uh keeping a moderate speed and being in control versus um going on an 11 and being uh kind of wild on just hanging on for for dear life which i've been known to do sometimes but uh have more fun being in control and uh, feeling the trail rather than just blasting through crazy style. I don't know if that's something you guys ever think about. Let me know in the comments. from the summer.
much bumpier than it looks. Links got tore up this summer, people. Need some rain, some hero dirt on that sucker, soften it up a bit, but still fun nonetheless. I have a blast on Rocket and Links every single time I come to Aliso. Put this one on your list on a regular basis. Good cardio, really good downhills, and uh, you could just do laps for as many as you want. Like I said, this drops you down to Wood Canyon. You're gonna follow this left, back out the same way you came after Rocket, all these to the same place, Canyon View Park. I'm Tony from the Outsider Channel. Thank you for sticking around. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>